grew up out of town five miles. It was like off the grid. We didn't have power actually, or running water until I was seven. It was like ancient times. <laughs> Lake Erie Grocery, grew up going there, finding my candy there. We would take a shortcut through the fields there, there used to be cows and a bull that would chase us. It really does feel like ancient times, like I grew up in a fairy tale. was always encouraged. My dad always played guitar and sang in the house. It was when Nirvana came out that it shifted from being like a thing that grown-ups want me to do to being like, ah, but no, this is something that is cool and subversive and there's fertile new territory to explore that is not part of the grown-ups world. Let's get to the bottom of things here. Let's explore the weird corners. What do I mean by eternity? Well, eternity just means forever to me. It just it doesn't mean necessarily in a spiritual or big meaning context. It's just a vastness. A big one, a big vastness. Um, oh, what else I was going to say about that? That's gone. Even though I don't have that much time to work because of single parenting, for the past like two years, it hasn't turned off at all. It's been going strong. So, um, it's gonna be like a field trip, and then, um, so when we're running around in the field, just had lots of ideas, and maybe it's my life has been simple during that time. It's been just me and a cat, and we're living in this place where I am happy.
there's a certain type of decline or decay that happens when you are idle. Parenting keeps you not idle and engaged with like real work, real needs, really tangible, simple stuff. And I think that can be invigorating. The fragility of life being made really apparent it has made me more urgent. Don't waste this rare existence, don't waste this rare like human consciousness that we have on avoidance or fear or mere comfort. Scooter, it's kind of far, because it's a far part of Orkyla. We could just drive. Drive. Okay. Can we just bring my scooter? No. Let's leave it here, and then we can scooter after school. But can we just, like, blast into the unknown in the car? <laughs> Bloody Valentine and the song. My Bloody Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> and the singer's name is Kevin Shields and the song is Yeah. And the song is called You Never Should. It's hard to simulate the experience of being a person in any art form. Everyone's trying to do it, but it's not so easy. Everything is strategized towards getting to this spot or getting to wherever I'm working and uh, fleshing the idea out because it all becomes clear to me. What I believe in is the blank emptiness of the present moment and the eternity of that. The present moment being like infinitely possible and open. That's what eternity means to me. It's the vastness that's within the small point. It's a hard thing to convey in music, but that's what a lot of it is about. It's trying to evoke the infinite blankness of potential that is in the unformed moment without polluting it with thoughts or baggage of any kind. Enlightenment, basically.
I met Shenbiev in 2003. I met her just through music, through friends. When we met each other, it was immediate and like explosive. We were young. We were pretty devoted to each other right away, and we had a great life together for 13 years of just like living in little houses and working, staying up like all night, both of us in separate rooms of the house working on our projects. It was good. We fit together. She got sick with cancer when Agat was three months old. So she had cancer when she was pregnant, but um, they found it when Agat was three months old and then she lived for just over a year with it and died when Agat was one and a half. Agat is a lot like her. Like, she looks like her, she sings all the time like her. She's jolly and silly and... Genevieve had a darkness too. She would get depressed and she made like dark art at times, although it was always cute too. But a cat doesn't have that darkness, at least not yet. So I'm wondering when and how that will manifest. I'm sort of bracing myself. I believe in effort. I believe in a leap of faith. I believe in making the leap into belief without knowing what's on the other side. Extravagant solitude invigorates I drove back to Olympia clear-headed temporarily And went back into the studio to resume Whatever this thing is This spooling out repetitive decades-long song string This river coursing through my life these wild swipes of meaning Now I circle back to, to look into the spring Sometimes I think of my own parenting as getting, it's like an experiment of getting to see what Genevieve would have been like with a uh, supportive and positive upbringing. Dad, you do that game where you're like singing and then someone tries to get it. Hmm. Name that tune? Mm hmm. Mm. Let's call it Name That Tune. That's actually what it's called. It's already a name. But you start. And okay. I don't want to play that much, so maybe we'll just do one. No. One for each other. Uh, okay. Um.
ngerti enggak? Kau kau. <laughs> really grateful for her. All of the crazy stuff of like death, moving, all the crazy changes in life. I have survived them in the way that I have because of her. There's no ambiguity about what I'm supposed to do. I have like, this one job. The question of music or anything else is that gets ambiguous, but I still have to make three meals a day and like put her to bed at a reasonable hour, no matter what. And that's that's enough to fill the rest of my life. I'm aware of my perception as being like heavy weight of the world guy who sings about like his dead wife. Ugh, no. oh, God. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna put on Mount Erie and just weep. Oh, I'm not ready for a cry. And people say this stuff to me. And I understand, like, I shouldn't roll my eyes too much about it because it makes sense. And that is the album I made. But it's not the end of it. And. I'm interested in conveying the full spectrum of human experience, and I live the full spectrum. I do have joy, like, yeah, she did die, and also, she was silly and joyful, and this kid I have is a goofball. Um, and also she has tantrums, like, it all exists, and I hope it can all be represented in this work. Somehow. Down there, the room below it. 